Hi, little scientists. Welcome back to Science with Sarah. Today, it's all about washing your hands. Why do your parents, teachers, and doctors keep telling you to wash your hands? Do you need to wash your hands if you don't see any dirt on them? And do you have to use soap, or can you just use water? Let's use science to answer those questions. Think about all of the surfaces you've touched with your hands today. Maybe you touched a door handle when you left the house, your desk at school, or maybe you gave your friend a high five. All of these surfaces have hundreds or thousands of germs on them. And because germs are so small, we can only see them under a microscope. When you touch something like a book, the germs end up on your hands. And then when you eat, those germs can enter your body. And when germs enter your body, they can make you really, really sick. So how do we protect ourselves? We wash our hands with soap and water. Now germs stick to natural oils on your skin. And when you rinse your hands with just water, the oils don't rinse off because oil and water don't mix. This is where soap comes in. Soap is made of millions of tiny soap molecules. And these soap molecules can mix with both water and oil. And when you wash your hands with soap, the soap mixes with the oil and germs on your hands. Then when you rinse your hands with water, that trapped oil and germs in the soap gets rinsed down the drain. Now soap and water molecules are really small for us to see. So let's do an experiment to see how soap works. All you need is a dish of water, pepper, and soap. Let's go! All right, I have my dish, some water, pepper, and of course, soap. Start by filling your dish with some water. Sprinkle on your pepper, add a drop of soap to your finger, and watch what happens. Let's do that again. Whoa! The pepper acts as dirt in our experiment. And when there's just water, the pepper doesn't do anything. But when we add a bit of soap, the pepper, or the dirt, jumps away from the soap. And that's why it's so important for you to wash your hands. You should wash your hands before eating food, after using the bathroom, after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose, after playing outside, before or after visiting someone who's sick, after touching the garbage, and after touching an animal. I think it's time we wash our hands. Take a little bit of soap and rub it between your hands and fingers until it starts to bubble. Rub on both sides of your hands, between your fingers, all the way down to your wrist. The bubbles and rubbing help lift dirt and germs from your skin. Remember to wash around your nails too. You should clean your hands for around 20 seconds. Or if you don't want to count, you can hum the happy birthday song from beginning to end twice. When you've cleaned your hands for about 20 seconds, rinse off the soap. Make sure you dry your hands properly with a towel or an air dryer. Whoa, who knew washing your hands could be so fun? See you next time on Science with Sarah.